Welcome back to the job site. We're just getting set up here this morning. We got our miter saw set up, table saw, and we went ahead and got some boards from Home Depot. I'll tell you about those here in a second and why we got those from Home Depot. But basically today what I'm going to show you in this video is just that main just that main case opening. Basically the other two case openings that we're going to do, the small ones, it's going to be the exact same process minus building the wall from yesterday's video. So I'm not really going to waste your time uh, showing you that it's going to be the same exact thing. We're going to put MDF inside of those. Um, that's going to bring them in. And then we're going to do some styles and rails on the inside, even though they're real small. They're only two inch um, thick styles. So that's what we're going to be doing on those. Same exact thing. But I will show you what we're going to be doing with the big one because I think it's more interesting and you can see it better. This, these boards right here, we got these from Home Depot and they're the Selects trim board. They're uh, just one by material. And the reason we went with these, it, some of this stuff is pretty rough, but you got to go through and look at it while you're there. So just spend some time looking through what boards you can get that aren't beat up or anything because they've got some pretty rugged stuff there. If you just go in there and grab stuff, you'll be disappointed later. So spend some time and go through there. Even if you have to go to other Home Depots, you might have to do that. But the reason we didn't go with our local supplier here this time is because we had a lot of issues with one by material lining up. Like even if we get it from the same supplier, we have a one by six and a one by four. We try to pocket hole them together. We find that the one by four is like a 16th smaller than the one by six. So it's really throws off the pocket holes. For us, we need that to be flush. The good thing about these selects boards is that you never have that issue. It's gonna be strong every time and they're pre-primed. So that helps us a little bit and they're not much more compared to where I get them locally. So that's where we're at now. Right now we're gonna build the top styles and rails header for the casing, or well, it's not really a header, but the up on the ceiling part of the cased opening, that's gonna just be one single panel. We're gonna get building that right now. What did I say? 31 and 3 eighths. you put a plus on it? Probably. Then we can just tighten this bad boy. Snug it up. No pencil needed. <laughs> So it's gonna be, we're gonna be ripping these to four and a quarter. Do you see any? No. Yeah, I don't have them. I have to get them. Yeah. Okay, so something crazy just happened. I had to go to Home Depot. We we're about to pocket hole this stuff. So I had to go buy these pocket hole screws. And literally some van that just right where my truck is right now, they're facing the other way though. They just pulled up real slow. John was watching them through the window and they were eyeballing my tools like crazy. And he was watching them, making sure they wouldn't do anything. But it was like, as soon as they were like pulling up a little bit slower, John said the guy was like looking around like crazy to make sure no one was around. And it was a, like an E-150 cargo van, like those Ford work vans. And then I came up right here and then I just backed up right next to him and they took off pretty quick. So I need to think twice about when I go places, but at least John was here to keep an eye on it. Usually we never have to leave our tools, but 
that's that was scary because i just got all this stuff that would have been horrible anyways we'll get to this <laughs> this is a gated community too that's freaking crazy the one place you think you can trust We'll probably end up putting like a little bead on the back of it too, because just to help it stick over time. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it is good. Oh, you did. You know. I remember because that was a day it's exploding up. Oh yeah. No, I think I'll be okay with this one for now, because this is really small. No crown jobs coming up soon? No. I know, I miss doing crown. It's crazy stuff lately. There's been nothing but just Wayne's coating. It's all people want. Wayne's coating and shiplap. Um, so yeah, we'll check both of our sides. <laughs> So we went ahead and put this top panel in as basically the same thing as what we took out but obviously we're not going to have the crown our board is much thicker we're using the one by material she liked the layout of what they did so we're going to be basically doing the same layout because they tried to copy that pillar like i mentioned in yesterday's video but what she didn't like was the quality of it and just like the way they did those hard transitions from yesterday's video so like you've seen us do with the Wayne's coatings and other videos that we do, we always like to build this stuff with the pocket holes because even though this thing right here is flush, we know it is, we put it there and we even built this wall. I still don't like to trust just the wall to hold the styles and rails flush with one another. And this is just easier. Made it kind of tight, so hopefully we can rubber malleted in there and got that first side in now all we have to do is put this side in and then put our big casing around it that's going to hide all that around it and like i said in yesterday's video before we even started this job i already told her you're going to need a drywall guy to come in here and fix some of this stuff around it and that's always a good idea if you know that what you're going to do is going to affect something else i always try to tell them before it's a surprise because people don't like surprises like what you know i didn't know i was going to have to do all that and sometimes surprises happen, but if you can just foresee them as much as you can, uh, she wasn't, she didn't care about it. So she knew she would have, she knew she would have to do that. So let's take a look at a few things here. I'll show you how we did this. Pretty basic, but I'll show you some of the details in it. Um, up here, actually, on this very top rail where these two top rails meet, this board that we had that's behind this one right here is flush with this and i'll show you up close so you can see that but that's a pretty straight line um but other than that one thing i'll point out here is right here is three and a half and right here is three and a half so we made this piece a little bit longer so when this one came up, they would be the same reveal. So that's one thing that we had to take into account here. And the rest of this is just pretty basic. We just pocket hold those together, just like we did the top one. We didn't show you any footage of that because it's the same exact thing. We just built this all in one piece and it makes for really good effortless install. As long as you got your sides flush so they're not proud or they're not recessed, then we're good to go. 
and we made sure of that we just held a straight edge on it all we did was we took a square and we held it right there and made sure that we were flush right there with the wall and with the um, the pieces that we just installed these styles and you can see that that two by four framework that we did yesterday we have that a little bit recessed because we didn't want to deal with if that was sticking out then we'd have to shave it down and stuff like that so we went up the whole way with this thing and made sure that it was good same thing on the other side because that's a really big pain whenever you have you're trying to put a casing on something and the wall is sticking out further than the jam you know like on doors so we had to make sure of that and then one last thing that we i'll point out here before we start installing this one is that you remember that seam from yesterday how we knew we were going to have a mdf seam right there uh, remember yesterday i said that would get covered and that's exactly where that ended up and that's a replica of those pillars over there the same height so we're moving along with this one we're going to put this side in then we're going to pretty much be casing and then we're done with this side so we'll get to it so we're coming along good here we got this side in we just had to kind of stop production out there because we had some rain come down which we knew was going to come today so now we got to kind of just wait around and make sure it's not going to rain anymore we put everything in the garage so it wouldn't get wet but we had this side come out just as good as the other side and now we're going to put some casing on here and the casing that i have it's a really interesting casing and it almost looks like a chair rail but in the catalogs that i get my materials from it's an actual listed as a casing so when you see it you'll probably think that's a chair rail but it's not i promise you it's we've seen it on doors it's just a big um, designer casing all right so what i'm going to do now or what i already did actually i'm going to finish doing it down the rest of these um, vertical styles here so i'm going to mark the reveal using my multi mark and it just has a 3 16 offset and that's going to give us the perfect reveal that we need for these casings so here's the casing i was talking about i got this right side cut and you can see the profile there on that 45 how that looks like a chair rail but it is listed as a casing and we've seen it as casing and we've done it as casing it just that's what they wanted to do so I'm going to mark the, that down, all these reveals, and then we can get these casings nailed into place. It's always a fun part when you can hide all that junk, <laughs> even though some of it's going to be showing and that guy's going to have to fix it, the drywall guy still looks a lot better than it did. Then I'll clean that squeeze out here in a second. Should be good. Go! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like it's that bad. Over. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like it's bad over here. Yeah. No, it's good. <laughs> All right, so that right there is what this is gonna look like finished. We're gonna do the other side. It's gonna look the exact same way, but that's basically it. So, like I said in the other video yesterday, there's gonna be some drywall work and that's how it's looking on this side but that's the way it is when you do this kind of stuff when it doesn't go as planned the first time you're going to run into situations where you have to pay for more stuff it's really unfortunate but that's the real world that we live in and that's the situation that we are in right now
So everything's working out though because we brought it down. You can see the old line where it used to be. It's not that line where the drywall color changes. It's actually above that. There's a line where trim used to be. There was like an inch between the bottom of that casing and the top of the, or the bottom of the crown and the top of the casing. So we brought it down significantly. This is the casing that she wanted. It's just a big, simple, kind of got a little fancy swoop to it. And we're gonna do that on the other side. And then we should be good to go for this one. Those little ones, we'll get those done pretty quick. Oh, there she is. Hey, how's it going? Oh, done this week? Yeah, we'll be done this week, for sure. I don't see a problem with that at all. We got one down now, so two small ones, and then some prep and paint, and we'll be out of your way. Okay. That works for me. All right. I'm glad you like it. All right, I'll talk to you later, too. Thank you. All right, bye. We're not going to be done this week. We are not going to be done this week. Give you a little update here. We've It's been some hours since I showed you that big uh, cased opening that we finished over there. And I've got this, this little rigid light that I'm using because it's really dark inside here now. And it's been raining here all day. That's why it's so dark. The clouds and weather, we've been fighting that and it's kind of slowed us down. But we got these other two cased openings done and I'll show you those with this light. But they're basically miniature versions of the big one, which is what I'm, the main part I'm showing you. So it's down there, we've got a bottom rail, middle rail, and then top rail and then going across just a single section. And then we're gonna put that same casing and it's gonna, thankfully on this one, it's gonna hide a lot more of it. So, I mean, like I keep saying, there's gonna be drywall work, so that's just the way it goes. Then we've got some baseboard that we have to do because their casing stuck out so much. I'm gonna have to replace those. So other than that, we're gonna get these casings on tonight and in the morning, we'll just have a little little bit of baseboard to run and we should be good to go. So I'll show you what I'm talking about on that real quick. So that's our final end right there. And obviously you could see that that's gonna be a good transition. So I'm gonna remove this piece tomorrow and just put a new one in and measure it off to this new casing. But you could see how far away theirs came out. And the reason that was so bad, one right here, we're good to go now on our light switch. If you remember from yesterday, and you can see the line, that casing went right down that. And it's like, what the heck are you gonna do with this? But that's why sometimes you have to build stuff in to, to accommodate stuff like that. Then on the stairs, if you remember that one, where they cut out all the stairs over there, because this thing went all the way over. I mean, you can see it. It dug into all that and they didn't, you can't finish the casing off. So that's just one of the reasons why you have to change things. You have to modify things. You're not gonna walk into a job and then it's gonna be perfect unless it's like a crown molding job. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this day too. We made a lot of progress and we'll show you at the end of the job some up close detailed pictures, hopefully with the bigger camera and not just this GoPro. And then other than that, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Take care.